the action potential results in muscle contraction you can see that the contraction is starting in the repolarization phase of the action potential in skeletal muscle the absolute refractive period is the point of time the beginning of the action potential to the point of time when the sodium channel goes back to the closed state when sodium channel is open or when it is inactivated there cannot be a new action potential that's the absolute refractive period the period after that is the relative refractive period hence if i stimulate in the relative refractive period with a powerful stimulus i can create a second action potential and here you can see that the second contraction merges with the contraction of the first so this is called the summation of contraction hence skeletal muscle can be tetanized let us see what that means this is a frog's gastrocnemius muscle preparation you can see the sciatic nerve this is a classical chymograph recording in which sciatic nerve is stimulated which causes the muscle to contract which will pull a lever and this lever is writing on this black drum when stimuli are given at a slow rate contraction of the muscle is becoming stronger this is called staircase phenomenon this is because there is something called beneficial effect one contraction when it is followed by another contraction the second contraction will have uh, more available calcium because cerca takes time to pump calcium back into sarcoplasm reticulum and also the heat released during the first contraction will increase elasticity and decrease uh, viscosity and make the contraction easier the second contraction is stronger when the impulse is given to higher rate the membrane cannot fully relax that is called clonus and when the impulse is given at a very higher rate the contractions come fused together to form tetanus because of summation of contraction skeletal muscle can be tetanized this tetanus is because of the fact that the absolute refractory period is just over before the contraction starts so if you can create a second action potential the second contraction will fuse it to the first contraction now let us look at cardiac muscle where this cannot happen let's see why in cardiac muscle because of the plateau phase there is a very long absolute refractory period and you can see that the whole of the contraction and almost one third of the relaxation of the muscle is within the absolute refractory period two contractions cannot fuse even if you give a stimulus the new contraction will only start in the relaxation part of the muscle here you have, can see a frog heart is contracting and the red lines represent stimuli being given the first stimuli falling in the early part has no response and you can see the third red line when the stimuli fell in the during the relaxation of the heart then only it created another contraction that is an extra systole this shows that cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized this is another reason why the cardiac muscle does not fatigue two contractions in the cardiac muscle cannot merge